How's it going, everyone? Gonna use this class as a tech nine because I'm trying to get gold on it. You're gonna want to make sure you're using the highest optic or the best optic you have on the gun, unless it's like an insanely high one. I recommend camping out at 4x unless you're like using a sniper or something. This specific gun is like mostly dedicated to people grinding for ARs or SMGs, but I assume that anything lower than that should also work with this. But by that point, you don't really need this guide. I don't know if I could call this a guide. It's literally just like one step first of all you're gonna queue hardcore nuke town i i know it, it's unfortunate but there's no other choice really as you can see right here actually i don't know how much progress i've made on this you yeah, haven't made that much progress all this is kind of just accidental i never really went for long shots at least until now but this is i think the most efficient way of doing it or at least the most consistent way well sometimes you're gonna have like rough games but then the next game you might get like 15 long shots in one game if first you spawn in you're like spawning in behind one of the houses i assume you just head to one of the garages and then I mean, this... Okay. See, that that guy's already doing it. Let me just take care of him real quick. He's getting in the way of my guide. You just... In this specific part of that... Okay, I keep... I keep fucking this up. Wait a second. You just go into the garage, and they stand at the back, and then you scope into the, the other side of the garage. On that side, on that house, it's a lot easier since you have, like, way more of, like, a visual compared to here, where it's kind of like a small knot. But it can also, like, lean to, like, the left and shit, and then, like, get people from there. But basically, you're supposed to stand there and just get kills over and over again. I'm starting to feel like the reason why I keep getting into harder games at 11 p.m. is because that's when only degenerates play the game. Just stand here and wait. That doesn't count. But... As you can see right there, that's a long shot. You just gotta do that like a f ton of times until you finally get it. I said it was easy. It is easy if you can like play music in the background or have like a second monitor to watch like movies on or some shit. Because this shit is boring and monotonous. I, I hate doing this, but I mean, it's the only consistent way unless you wanna just like play like 10,000 hours to just like randomly get it. But now we're on this part of the house, I think. Okay, never mind. We just, I just on the other side again. They just camp that, and then there we go. Now I got 10 long shots. Oh, yeah. This is definitely the easiest side, since as you can see right here, you just stand in this corner, and bam, you got like a massive view. That is definitely the easier side, but uh, yeah. No, that's really it. I'm just gonna quit in the middle of it. Maybe skull base is gonna get me into an easier match so I can demonstrate this better. I'm kind of losing it right now. I don't know if there's like a faster way to get long shots, but this is easily the most efficient way. Because, I mean, as far as I know, at least every time you play in Nuketown, it's the same map. There is no, like, Nuketown is not different every time. So you're always gonna get people in the same spot doing the same shit. You will have bad games, but I guarantee you, you will have like at least like a couple of good games where you can actually pull this off. Boom. Just like that. Yeah, watch. I might just unlock another camo right here. Okay. Other side? Nope, I'm in the center. Alright. I really don't like hardcore, but if you want to get long shots, hardcore nuketown is kind of the best way. You can still get long shots on some maps. Where are people spawning? Yeah, this is advantage of this spot is that, like, if you get close from here, that's not a long shot. Compared to the other spot where you have, like, two spots. But over here, you have one big open spot, so... It's not really that big of a deal. Either way, it's just long shots. And you don't really get to choose where you spawn anyway. Got the. <laughs> yeah, basically, just do what I'm showing you right now. You're standing in these corners in these garages. It's pretty agonizing, but I mean, you don't have to get that many long shots. Yeah, I am going for DM Ultra right now. I think when I'm done with DM Ultra, I will make like a really long, epic, insane video on it. But until then, I'm kind of just chilling. I right, also, epic. F Nova camo tip. Okay, it's too late for that one. But always have a rocket launcher secondary. In case there's like a streak in the in the sky or something, you can like shoot it down. Like a field mic on the ground that counts as like an equipment shot. They don't really specify like whether or not you want to shoot a kill streak or like equipment. They kind of just bundle them together so you can like shoot down a field mic. Okay, someone just did it, I think. And that'll count. They can also shoot down like a chopper, and then that'll also count. But yeah, always have a launcher secondary. It makes things way more efficient, and then when you like end up having to like finish off the launchers, it's way less agonizing although it's still pretty painful probably i don't know i haven't gone to that point yet it's just a tip i learned we'll try this spot now if anyone's gonna come out there because that was way too close i think you guys get it now just use these spots okay well summon like for more epic black ops cold war tips just kidding i don't really post that many tips